This month, Biloxi is showing off the best of the best. The city is celebrating preservation in May, highlighting Biloxi's history. Joining me today, Biloxi Historical Administrator Mandy Hornsby. Mandy, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me on this afternoon. Yeah, I know that this is well underway. You started at the beginning of May with the um, sneak peek. Yes, right, for event, our, our just cultural to kind of and historical exposition. And give people an center. idea, an overview, and you have a lot of things that are happening. And I think tomorrow you have the Wool Market Walk. What is that all about? Yes, so our second event of the month is Walking in Wool Market's History. So we will be meeting at Colville United Methodist Church to talk about some of the highlights of Wool Market's history. Some older residents will be there to share their experience. And then we're hoping to have time with the, the sunset for uh, visitors and participants to go walk in the old Colville Cemetery. Oh, well, that's interesting. There's always a lot of history there. Always. Is it hard for you to line up people to talk to about things like this? Because it's so fascinating to find people who who know about their areas, like um, the folks in, in Wool Market who have a lot of history there. No, actually with uh, working, coordinating with Colville and also um, other groups were recommended. If you know the right people to ask, you'll find plenty of participants. Yeah, and that is not the only cemetery walk, right? Because later in the month, you have the Biloxi Cemetery. Yes, on May 16th, we have a, an event called Take It to the Grave, and we're really excited about it because we are uh, going to highlight some uh, people's recipes that are actually buried in the cemetery. We're gonna have recipe cards at their gravesite for visitors to come and walk to enjoy the cemetery and to get some of the recipes because food is part of our cultural history as well. Well, that's interesting. So recipes from people who are no longer with us? Correct. Who are buried at the Biloxi Cemetery? Mm -hmm. Yep, we uh, invited their families to submit recipes to so us. These are recipes that have been around for generations, obviously. And, and, and do you select recipes that do have something to do with um, the culture here and the food here in this area? Yes, some of them are. And then some of them are from some of our local cookbooks, like the um, Old Biloxi Recipe Cookbook and the Savonian La Ladies Auxiliary Cookbook as well. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. How do you come up with all of these different ideas and try and make it fresh every year? I'm lucky I have a committee. The uh, preser preservation programming and the Biloxi Cemetery Tour are done by the Preserve Biloxi Committee, which is a collaboration of several different groups that are invested in Biloxi's history. It's about a seven person committee and we meet monthly to come up with these ideas. Now, I know you have some kind of a passport to history program too, which sounds like fun. Yes. Is it too late to get involved with that? Not at all. So our Passport to History is a little folded passport and it has each event uh, highlighted in it and you get a stamp for attending each event. And if you attend three of the events, including our last event, which is our Preservation Awards, you'll get like a prize. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, Preservation in May is continuing throughout the month. A lot of different awards we, or, or activities actually, and we talked about some of those and you see some of the other dates there on the screen. So learn about your city. It's important and it's interesting too. All right, Mandy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.